eBay is a website where you can find anything, and I mean absolutely anything. If you ever get bored, take a look on the website and you'll come across a number of strange, disturbing, and even haunted items. That's right, when people stumble upon real life haunted items, they decide, hey, why don't I just sell it on eBay to someone with a death wish? From a jacket owned by serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer to a bunch of possessed dolls. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 5 Most Haunted Items Sold on eBay Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Top 5. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and before we begin, why don't you smash that like button and obviously subscribe to our channel and let me know in the comments below. Do you have any creepy paranormal experiences? I would love to know. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have Jeffrey Dahmer's jacket. It. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Someone once owned infamous serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer's jacket. The seller, Plagel41, claimed that he was in the same class at Dahmer at Revere High in Bath, Ohio. In senior year, the seller was doing a comedy act and needed an army jacket for the sketch. They didn't have one, but Jeffrey was like, oh hold up, I got one, and went to his car and returned with the jacket in hand. The seller used it for the performance, and after the show, Jeffrey said for him just to keep the jacket. Kinda makes me wonder, was that for sure Jeffrey's jacket, or was it one one of his many victims jacket. Like why was he so willing to give it away? Probably because it was evidence linking him to one of his victims so he was like nah you keep it. I mean I'm just stretching here but you never know. Anyways, the seller was cleaning up his family's home when he found the jacket in one of the bins. Obviously by this point he knew what Jeffrey had done so his family wanted him to get rid of it. and all the bad juju surrounding it. In the end, this jacket ended up selling for $150. In our fourth spot, we have the haunted dolls. I swear, there is a whole section on eBay just for haunted dolls. It's insane. There are hundreds of them. You know, I've seen the movie Annabelle and no thanks, I'm never buying one. I don't want to risk it. But apparently to paranormal collectors, this is heaven to them. For example, one seller, Aki J25, was selling a haunted doll, Dakota Spirit Child, that is apparently very active. It also came with a warning saying only people experienced with the paranormal can buy this item. According to the seller, the doll is haunted by the spirit of a child named Dakota, who was murdered by his mom. The doll has been known to break mirrors and gets quite angry at times. Now, fun fact, apparently eBay has a rule that you can't sell anything that offers someone's soul, like selling something that claims to have someone's soul attached to it. You can't do that. So what these buyers do is put a little disclaimer that says, for entertainment purposes only. But that's a lie, and they only do it to prevent their items from being removed. Now let's take a look at some of the creepiest dolls I found on eBay. For starters, we got this gem, the haunted vintage antique evil active possessed witch demon doll. And of course, they photographed this doll on a Ouija board, because why not? I mean it is fitting. Anyways, this one is being sold for 100 US dollars. What a steal. Then we have this one, the haunted 16 inch spiritual doll spirit vessel. And apparently it has supernatural paranormal powers. Honestly, Victorian dolls like this creep me the hell out, so no thank you. But hey, if you're interested in this doll, it's cheaper than the other one. And last but not least, and creepiest of all, we have this doll. That I swear, if you stare at too long, she will suck out your soul. This is the haunted 16 inch spiritual doll spirit vessel that also has supernatural and paranormal powers. Like look at it, that one is for sure haunted. And the winning freaking bid was $5,600. Like are you kidding me? You're literally paying to get possessed. Moving on to number 3 we have the hands resist him. Now since this is a horror channel, chances are you probably heard of this haunted painting. That's because this painting is known to be one of the most haunted paintings in the world. So the story goes that this painting was created in 1972 by an artist named Bill Stoneham. Over the years, it has been bought and sold on eBay by a number of buyers and sellers. No one wants to keep it for themselves. 
Why? Because of how terrifyingly haunted it is. It first appeared on eBay in 2000. The seller said they needed it gone ASAP because it was terrorizing their family. The seller went on to say that their daughter was most affected by it. Their daughter said the boy and the doll in the picture would fight each other at night, whatever that means. But they also got eerie vibes around the painting so they set up a motion sensing camera for three nights just monitoring the painting. The camera captured the boy leaving the freaking painting, or so they claim. So she sold it. The next seller said the painting made them feel ill or dizzy whenever they were around it. So they sold it. The next seller said they heard an exorcist type voice after viewing the painting. They sold it and so on and so on, you get it. But it seems as if children are most affected by the painting and it will haunt them in their dreams. As a result, no one wants to own it. Nowadays, it's displayed in an art gallery in Beverly Hills. Moving on to number two, we have the haunted doll carriage. This next story is gonna give you the creeps. Plus, it happened a couple months ago, so it's really recent. Basically, a family in Brandon, Missouri was gifted an antique doll carriage for their daughter for Christmas. Whitney Merritt, the mom, said the carriage was gifted to them from her mom, who got it from a friend of a friend. They probably all knew it was haunted and just needed someone to pawn it off to. Anyways, as soon as they received the carriage, spooky things started to happen around their house. It started with the knocking. Every so often they would hear creepy knocking on their walls. One night it got so bad they literally thought someone was in their attic walking around. But when they got up there, the knocking stopped and no one was there. This lasted for a week. The second week is when the paranormal activity picked up. They would wake up in the middle of the night to sounds of stuff being knocked over. When they investigated, they found shattered mugs all in their kitchen. This entity broke several mugs in the family's home. They even would slam dishes in the sink. The third week is when it got the worst. That's when Whitney actually saw the spirit that was attached to the carriage. She was chilling when she saw a person walk past the door and into the kitchen. She turned quickly and the entity disappeared. Now, they never knew what was haunting them until they realized that the paranormal activity started as soon as they received that damn carriage. So they were like, F that, and they took it and they stuck it outside, and guess what? The paranormal activity stopped. That's when they decided to list it on eBay. When she did, someone came forward and told her the backstory of the carriage. Apparently the carriage was once owned by a woman whose husband died in a motorcycle accident. And it's thought that his spirit is the one that's attached to it. Whitney strongly believes that that's the entity she saw in her kitchen. In the end, the carriage was listed for $65, but after a bidding war, someone purchased it for $710. Again, that person is just paying to get haunted. I literally don't get it. And in our number one spot today, we have the haunted watch. What time is it? Spooky time. I know, that was lame, but... It made me laugh. Anyways, when I saw this listing, I literally got shivers down my spine. So it was listed as haunted watch stuck at 11.29 p.m. According to the seller, the person they received that watch from told them that a 24-year-old woman named Julie once owned the watch. One day she was headed out for a run, so she took the watch off and placed it on her nightstand. But Julie never returned home. She ended up getting kidnapped while on her run. The man that kidnapped her ended up killing her at 11.29 p.m. The exact same time that that watch is now stuck at. That is the scariest thing that I've ever heard. But wait, there's more. The buyer took the watch to a medium to see if the seller was lying or like what the deal with it was. Without telling the medium anything about the watch, the medium said that a woman named Julie is attached to it. That's insane. The seller also said that whenever they go near it, the temperature around them drops, even in the hottest weather. In the end, they listed it on eBay and sold it for only $17.50, the cheapest item on this list, but also the creepiest. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items you found the creepiest. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top five demon books you should never read, part three. John Madden commented, I think that's awesome. How do I require any of those books? Dude, I literally said like, don't read them and all of you are like, cool. Got a link? 
I'm gonna read that. No. Prep for it. Commented. Great list of information, Lindsay. I hope you can return to the studio at some point, at least for collabs. Well, look who's here. I came back just for you. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Uh, who do you guys want to see me collab with? Lucy or Keegan? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we'll do a little collab. Pine Frost commented. Oh, look, another shopping list. <laughs> I actually laughed at this, like this is good. Stop it, you're not buying the books. I'm telling you no, don't do it. Ember Hydra commented, that's why you buy them in audiobooks, silly. I mean, technically it's only cursed if you read them. What happens if you listen to them? Do you still get cursed? Like, what's the deal with that? I don't know, maybe you're onto something. And Leonard Jenkins commented, Ivan! Jenkins. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm showing out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Top 5 for more spooky videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Stay spooky.